Hello everyone and welcome to Neat Mentor. Today in this session we will look at the mapping between marks and rank. By now you must have got an idea how much is going to be expected score with a difference of 10, 20 or 30 marks plus or minus. And based on that marks what should be your rank because rank getting uh, an idea about to expected rank is very important. So all the calculations for your counseling process will be happening based on rank and the cutoff and all if you want to analyze then you need to have a mapping between marks and rank for this year. Before we start with the video, if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and share the video with your uh, friends and all so that they can also get benefited of it, out of it. Uh, before that, I will tell you, we also provide paid counseling guidance and uh, to let you know, paid counseling guidance doesn't mean that just we answer your all your queries and uh, the questions are just sorted out rather as part of like the paid counseling guidance that we are providing from need mentor we own your counseling processes and you just keep username and password and we uh, get you all your inputs based on the status states you want to go for your score and your, your expected rank which branches you are interested into and if you are not going to get government colleges based on your score then uh, which brand based on the branch and all based on your budget and all uh, where you can get the seats and uh, what options available to you which option you should keep and which option you should avoid so that you can get best possible result of the costly process and we help you starting from the registration process choice filling we provide all the details in pdf format and uh, if you follow the guidelines without any mistake you will get the best possible result from the counseling process that's what is the next process because you have done a lot of work hard work from last one and a half years and now if you do any kind of mistake silly mistake you might get a college but you will realize later that you could have got a better college in the same marks and in the same tuition fee that you are paying in government private or dnb because there are a lot of uh, hospitals available in DNB, a uh, lot of medical colleges, new medical colleges, old medical colleges. I need to have a comparison ranking and all those stuffs and uh, tuition fee, hidden fee, uh, stipend amount and many other details need to be available to you. All the counseling process, security deposit and based on those factors you analyze and it takes a couple of days of time to get to a calculation that which state you need to go for and how you should proceed with the counseling process so that's all guidance we provide now let's jump to the uh, our rank prediction so there are many factors and it's not a uh, easy job to predict rank because uh, there are many factors involved and uh, you can't just go with the last year score uh, many uh, candidates were saying last year in the in particular 55 percent score we were getting a particular rank now this year how you can say the rank will be this much different so it depends on many factors the factors that i've taken into consideration for predicting the rank is paper difficulty level compared to last year the paper difficulty level was easy and uh, it was kind of like misguiding also the first day you looked at the paper and you came after came from the examination center you uh, expected marks of 600 and later uh, after a couple of days when the question uh, answer keys are available the same candidate was saying i won't be getting 600 but will around 550 or 540 like that so with this kind of like a feedback coming from candidates i have taken consideration to those feedback also on the low score you will be getting better rank previous year trends you have to see in order to figure out what would be the pro, uh, uh, what would be the uh, rank for particular score and uh, which uh, score people or like on uh, during which rank more number of people fall as for the previous trend change in pattern of examination this year uh, people were more afraid that what will be the pattern uh, how difficult will be question but it didn't impact that much and they prepared very uh, well to tackle all those pattern changes and in all that mock test you had like a tougher questions than in the examination and that also helped it also impacts the, uh, the number of uh, question you make correct and uh, score you get and one more factor your rank in the gts 
um as you know the gt happened where more than 1.5 lakhs candidates participated all from all over india and there what was your rank and now what score you are getting so in the your merit will remain same among like 1.5 lakhs now or then okay it can change a little bit your score will be changing based on the paper difficulty level and but the rank will remain same based on your merit so that also can be taken into consideration and based on candidates opinion and uh, the opinion getting changed after checking the answer because some of the questions were like uh, really uh, the choices were vague it's not clear which one is correct and uh, other factors are taken into consideration so now this is the cut off uh, this is the marks versus rank mapping and uh, starting from uh, top those candidates who got 600 plus they can expect to get uh, 2500 rank or better than that those who are between uh, 600 to 550 they can get 7000 or like that 550 to 520 you can get a uh, rank up to 10000 522500 you can get rank up to 14000 and 500 to 490 rank would be between, uh, up to 16000 490 to 480 is 18000 480 to 460 your rank can be 20000 so 20000 is important figure because under 20000 you can expect uh, clinical branches and uh, 460 to 450 uh, 24000 450 to 440 is 27000 440 to 430 30000 you can expect uh, general category pathology through all india quota up to 30000 and now 430 to 420 is 32 33000 420 to 410 37000 410 to 400 40000 so uh, if you have like 50% of a score Uh, you are getting around forty thousand of rank. Now four hundred to three ninety, forty three thousand three ninety to three eighty five, forty five thousand three eighty five to three eighty, forty six thousand and three eighty to three seventy, fifty thousand. So fifty thousand is rank when your score is around three seventy five. Three seventy to three sixty, the rank would be around fifty one thousand three sixty to three fifty. Fifty-four thousand and five hundred, three fifty to four, uh, three forty. The rank is around fifty-eight thousand, three forty to three thirty, sixty-one thousand, three thirty to three twenty, sixty-four thousand. So rank is sixty-four thousand. Uh, if your rank score is three twenty-five, three twenty to three ten, and likewise you can see up to uh, two sixty if you have the score. then your rank will be beyond 80000 so this is a uh, marks versus rank okay based on this uh, marks versus rank you can uh, figure out your rank and then you will be better able to uh, judge which colleges you can get because last year cut off and all you want to see it will be mostly available based on the all india rank i uh, hope uh, this video is uh, helpful to you uh, if you like the video uh, hit the like button and uh, if you have any kind of questions you can send us whatsapp messages and for the paid counseling guidance you can call us to the number 9319128677 we are available in on the same number in whatsapp and if you want to discuss on particular like uh, uh, you are not able to figure out what to do you your marks got stuck and it didn't come as per expectation then what is possibility so for those things you can message us we will uh, book a kind of like 5 minutes 10 minutes time slot i will tell you the timing uh, there is no need to uh, fill any form you can call directly or message us if the uh, college going busy then you can message us we will uh, fix a timing and we will discuss on that so that you get a, a better picture on the possibilities so thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day